list. And while I'm doing this, I have the experiment running for uh, Mr. Allen to capture a sample of, quote, linear water, end quote. <coughs> Don't ask me what linear water is. Uh, my guess is that the uh, the HHO enthusiasts envision the water molecule having the hydrogen atoms diametrically opposed on opposite sides of the oxygen atom instead of at 90 degree angle to one another. And supposedly this mystical form of of water is supposed to vaporize at room temperature, which is why you can't see it. So, we'll see. It won't be that difficult an experiment. <coughs> uh, I've got uh, there's my uh, my tin can stack collecting the gas. It's it's filling slowly through the bottom and venting out through the top. And if it works, I'll, I'll even kick it up a notch. I've got... Uh, this is probably about uh, almost 30 inches long. Plastic tube. This is, this is the tubing. Yeah, I'll move this so you can see it. <coughs> this right here is the piece of tubing that I used to build my VSPB cell. It's uh, 5 inches in diameter and it's like I said, about, well, let's see if that's 12, 24, call it 28, 28 to 30 inches long. I'll, uh, I'll make this a column and I'll collect a boatload of that linear water, vaporized linear water. And, uh, We'll try the balloon float experiment. We'll see. If nothing else, it's going to create a lot of discussion on the topic. Whether I believe it or not. <coughs> it's another story. But I did offer to do the experiment, and like I said, it doesn't it won't take long. So... Uh. Uh, I'm going to grab a, a can. I'm going to take, I've been uh, <coughs> collecting some, some of the uh, mystical HHOI slash linear water slash whatever, whatever you want to call it. And uh, I've been feeding it into the column at a rate that doesn't disturb the uh, <coughs> the gases too much so that if there is a heavier than air gas it will settle to the bottom as it pushes out the hydrogen and oxygen off the top. Anyway, let's start small. Alright, I got just a little red cap in our plastic recycle bin. If you're going to be live in the shop tonight, I might just rebroadcast. I suspect my topic will bore. <laughs> what what is your topic, Scarecrow? It could be it could be fun. I'll let, I'll let you know if uh, if there's anything worth worth discussing. But right now, I'm going to shut off the flow of gas to my column. Okay, so I've got a little, uh, I've got my column set up. <coughs> There's my column of gas. My tower of power. <laughs> and I'm going to attach a little tube here. And I'm going to open my petcock valve. And when 
I do, supposedly, this, uh, this little cap here is going to fill with a heavier than air gas that, if I don't disturb the surrounding air too much, it should just pool in there and stay there for a little bit. So I'm going to turn the valve on and I'm going to check and see <coughs> if I can see any, uh, uh, variable density uh, gas passing by. Okay, the valve is open. Again, I don't expect it to flow very fast. So, <clears throat> I will just sit here and wait as the heavier than air gas A.K.A. linear water, A.K.A. I.H.H.O. or H.H.O.I. Sorry, not I.H.H.O.I. H.H.O.I. pours from the tube and fills the cap. All right then. I'm going to move away from the cap very slowly so I don't disturb the airspace around it. Shutting off the petcock valve. <clears throat> and if there is a heavier than air combustible gas in that cap, I should be able to ignite it with my little flame here. So all here goes. Oh, nothing happened. What a surprise. <laughs> I'm so surprised. Wow, I was really expecting a poof. <laughs> uh, the next thing that the uh, proponents of this mystical gas are going to say is, uh, okay, uh, you collected it in a metal can and the electrical properties of the gas have been have been dissipated because uh, because the the uh, the resistance of the Framowitz and the hydroencabulator is causing a disturbance of the field of the of the uh, molecular alignment. And, um, okay. Ah, uh, sorry, folks. I'm being called in for dinner. So you know what. <coughs> I'm going to let the linear water generator, <laughs> I'm, going to, I'm going to allow the linear water, linear water collector to continue collecting the linear water byproduct of my hydrogen generator, <laughs> like so. The petcock valve is open, and gas is flowing into the bottom of the column. It is flowing, uh, it probably should reduce the rate, because maybe I'm pushing it out at such a high volume that uh, it doesn't have time to pool in my, in my column. So, uh, I'll just use the current regulation of my power supply. And I'll drop it back to about mm, three or four amps. <clears throat> I can barely feel the flow of gas from the uh, from the top of this fitting. And I'll let it run <coughs> while I go have dinner. Yeah, hopefully I'm collecting enough linear water so that uh, at the end of dinner I'll be able to come back and dispense some of it into this cap. And uh, show everybody how it explodes. Yeah, that's it. Okay. I'll be back. <coughs>